It is a Tuesday, April 23rd, and science has been at the top of the agenda today for the Expedition 35 crew on board the International Space Station. Commander Chris Hadfield started his day with a blood draw for the experiment called vascular. That is a Canadian investigation that's looking into the long-term effect of zero gravity on the blood vessels. Uh, Hadfield has been tested before flight, now being tested during flight, and will be tested after the flight as well. Uh, the current samples being stowed in the uh, minus 80 degrees laboratory freezer that's in the Kibo module for later return to Earth and a study by the vascular investigators. Hadfield then moved on to work in the Columbus Laboratory module. This morning he rotated the Express Rack 3 out of the aft wall of Columbus and went to work to replace a water valve in the cooling system. That was a uh, lengthy task that took him uh, took up all of his morning and pushed both of his daily exercise sessions as in, off into uh, his afternoon. For his uh, crewmates, Pavel Vinogradov and Roman Romanenko, they started their day with a drill at the uh, Toru system. They practiced the potential use of a remote control docking system to bring a progress ship in to dock at the Zvezda module's aft docking port, just in case the automated docking system doesn't work properly. The next progress vehicle is scheduled to launch from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan at 5.12 Houston time on Wednesday morning and dock to the station on Friday morning. You'll have live coverage of the launch and of the docking on NASA television and NASA.gov. Both Vinogradov and uh, Romanenko had most of the rest of the day off duty then to make up for their uh, working this past weekend to clean up from last Friday's spacewalk. Flight engineer Chris Cassidy concentrated his work at the multi-microgravity sciences glove box. Uh, he was setting up for and then has been executing test burns for the experiment BASS, that's burning and suppression of solids. BASS is examining the characteristics of ignition and extinction of a range of different fuel samples. The intent there is to contribute to the computational models for brand new fire detection and suppression systems and uh, therefore to guide the development of strategies for putting out accidental fires in a spacecraft. Flight engineer Tom Marshburn spent most of Tuesday working at the capillary flow experiment. That's actually a suite of experiments that are investigating the flow of fluids in the microgravity environment, especially inside containers that have unusual or complex geometries. The results of those experiments will be providing data to the people who are designing programs that model fluid flow. Those models are going to be used by the designers of low gravity fluid transfer systems who are going to try to improve the fluid flow on board spacecraft of the future. Flight engineer Alexander Mazurkin started Tuesday with some computer software maintenance work and he's spent most of the rest of the day with pump panel maintenance in the Rosviet module, as well as Russian systems maintenance inside Zvezda. All six crew members also had the daily exercise sessions that are designed to maintain their overall physical fitness, as well as combat the loss of bone and muscle mass that occurs to people who spend extended periods of time in space in an environment where there is not even gravity for their bones or muscles yeah, to work is. against. That's going to become important for all of the crew members, especially more important now for Chris Hatfield, Roman Romanenko, and Tom Marshburn as they prepare to return to Earth in a few weeks. Uh, their mission on board the International Space Station targeted to conclude with a landing in Kazakhstan in mid-May.